Welcome to another Zoho Analytics video demo. In this video, we'll be looking at emailing views. Zoho Analytics allows you to share exported copies of your views in various formats via mail. This feature allows you to share updated reports and dashboards with users who aren't a part of your organization. Like say your customers, clients, and partners, emailed reports and dashboards can be up to 15 MB. You can invoke the email dialog from a view too. You can email the view in the following format. The Reports option tab allows you to format the file you're emailing. These are similar to export format options. In the case of emailing multiple views, you can choose which ones to be emailed here. You can also secure the file to be emailed with a password. In the Email tab, you can configure your email settings. You can send email from three email addresses. Select Notification at the rate zohoanalytics.com to allow Zoho Analytics to send emails on your behalf. You also send emails from your account email address or organization email addresses that you've added to your organization. Please note that you need to validate Zoho Analytics as a valid email source to send the email from your email addresses. In the TOE field, Add the email addresses of the recipients. Select the Show User List to All Recipients checkbox to reveal the entire recipient's list to all recipients. You can also add CCs as to the email. Modify the subject and message of the email to be sent. You can set this as the default message for all emails you send by selecting the corresponding checkboxes. In the Schedule Email section, you can configure a schedule to send the email. By default, None will be selected. The email will be sent only once. Emailing views is available from free plan. However, to schedule an email, you need to subscribe to a pricing plan. You can schedule in various intervals. You can choose to email the reports at a particular period like daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly. Select yearly to set the schedule based on a yearly basis. Set the interval in the every nth year field. Select the months to send the email. Then select the day and time to send the email. Now the email will be sent on the first Monday of the months of April, August, and October. The Advanced Options section allows you to set how the report should be sent. Select this to email the view with the same shared filter criteria defined while sharing. Select this to email the view after filtering data based on the default user filter's value of the reports. If the view does not have any default user filter, then it will be emailed with all data included. Select this to stop the email if there's no data in the report. Select this to add the time when the email was sent in the email subject. Once you've configured all the settings, click Save Email Schedule, and now you've successfully scheduled your emails. You can view and manage the email schedules over this view by clicking Share, Email, Edit Email Schedules. To access all email schedules in the workspace, click Workspace Settings, Email Schedules. All email schedules will be listed here. You can view who created them, the status of the schedule, and schedules consumed. Each email schedule in your pricing plan allows emailing views to 25 users. However, to manage the email schedules more easily, we allow you to add 100 users in a single email schedule setup. Schedules consumed here show the count for pricing based on the number of users added in these schedules. Pricing will be calculated only by active schedules. You can choose to pause schedules at any time. You can then activate them again whenever needed. You can also choose to send an email instantly for both active and inactive schedules. And you can choose to edit or delete schedules. Thank you for watching this demo. For further inquiries, Shoot us an email at support at the rate or call us on our toll-free numbers.